So, let's get going. Okay, first hand of the match, Ojoy, Ace, 10 off, on the button, real easy open. Epic full guy, King 10 suited, um, he should be at least calling here, and I like his re-raise size, and, um, you know, I can go either way here, uh, in terms of re or not. Early in the match, I like to show a lot of aggression, so, you know, I, I, I like his play, I, I'm all for it. You know, one little point here I'm going to make is that I don't really like his flop bet size. I talked about this, I think, in my last video. You know, standard for me has been two-thirds to three-quarters pot on the flop, and I've been experimenting with, you know, half pot and three-quarters, you know, half pot and two-thirds-ish, and liking that. Um, given that they're 200 big blinds deep, full potting is, you know, um, not as bad because they still have a lot of room to work with, but I think you should take that down a little bit, maybe 180 or so. Uh, on a king turn here, um, I... Okay, so in general, I think the king is a great card to two-barrel. And if Epic Full Guy didn't have a king in his hand, I love the bet, and I like the size. And it's a good size, you know, 450, 500. That's about what I would bet there um, if I'd led the flop for what he did. So I think the king is a great card to second barrel. It's really hard for Ojoy if he's floating or calling with, you know, like second or third pair or an under pair, like tens, to continue there on that card um, after he's shown so much strength. But on the other hand, given that he hit the king... I really like checking there. Um, I think if Ojoy, it's one of those situations where Ojoy can definitely be calling with less than an ace on the flop, and your hand has you know significant enough showdown value now that I really like just checking and trying to get it shown down. And um, I think that you know a long run balance type of play. It's not a great spot for Ojoy to try and float and then take it away, hoping you'll give up. So I think if you check there, you can pretty safely check fold because you know a lot of times you'll be checking there with a big hand, hoping to induce a bet. So your range is definitely balanced enough, and I really like checking and trying to get showdown there. Um, and, you know, if you check and he fires, I probably just give it up right there and fold. It's yeah, you know, it's such a the board connected so strongly with your perceived re-raise and range. I don't think it's a great spot for him to try and take you off of the hand there. So I, I really like a turn check in that spot. And after he bets, I think you know it's a thin spot for Ojoy, but given that it's the first hand of the match and that this is sort of a, a weird spot because they're both on video, so they both might be playing a little different than normal and a little more amped up. I think he can you know assign a little bit of a higher percentage of air because of those two factors into Epic Fold Guy's range, and so he makes a thin, but I still like it, um, the shove there on the turn. And I could go either way. There are merits to call in and merits to shove in there. Um, it's hard for Epic Fold Guy to call with the worst hand, but, you know, he also could have picked up some sort of draw on the turn. Um, so, you know, I, I'm totally fine with the way uh, Joy played that hand.